dental devices work, and so does CPAP. And the good news is, in today, 2019, we have a good solution for patients who can't breathe at night from obstructive sleep apnea. And between the two devices, there's no reason why, what are the numbers, you know, nine out of 10 uh, people are not successfully treated, a lot of people say. Whatever that number is, there's no reason with both of these at our, at our fingertips that we can't treat most people. And I think what's different that you all are starting to realize, but it's our obligation to teach and educate the physicians are that some things have, have changed here. We have studies now that show that dental devices are comparable to CPAP. And that because CPAP is better at lowering HI, but patients wear dental devices better. And that weighs out evenly. And so when you hear someone say CPAP works better, it's just not true. I'm going to start with a question. How many in here would like to grow your sleep practice? Most of your hands went up. It was great. Who in here believes, as dentists and dental team members, that it's our obligation to evaluate at least our adult patients for the possibility of them having obstructive sleep apnea? How many in this room would get at least one out of 10 to go get a sleep test? 10%. That's a low bar. Okay, look around. That wouldn't have been that way a few years ago, I don't think. And I'm going to tell you the answer that I believe on this. And we're going to talk about obstacles in a little while, but unless we get by this point, you're going to have a hard time with the obstacles. You're going to have a hard time with what Mark talked to you about. And I'm going to give you the answer, but again, I don't think you're going to like it. Hopefully we can get through this and you'll still talk to me in the hallway. I think the problem is the dental offices, doctors, and the team. Yeah, I'm told them to have a sleep test. Is it our job to tell them they need a sleep test? Or is it our job to be articulate enough to believe in it enough to where they get a sleep test? You're not doing your job if you just screen them and say, go get a sleep test. If you're gonna do this, and we're gonna be successful, we define it at the beginning, we talk to our patients, and then the last step is extremely important. You communicate this to the physicians. And if you want to be successful, the key is defining that success at the beginning, uh, if you're just new to this, dental sleep, once you get the systems in place, can be the most rewarding, fun, enjoyable thing you do in practice. Thank you.